as you know, scientific names have two components. There's a genus and there's a species. Um, and there are quite a lot of Attenborough eye species. That's quite nice. But to have a genus named after you is really something else. And uh, there's a family um, of, of uh, aquatic reptiles, um, which was um, given my name, which is Attenboroughsaurus. Attenboroughsaurus is really something, isn't it? And there's actually the type specimen of Attenboroughsaurus is in the Natural History Museum uh, in London. Um, and so I, <laughs> when they changed the label, I thought, oh, stunning. <laughs> So I leant nonchalantly about beside this thing and with the label above them, people walked by and didn't take any notice at all, so that put me in my place. Mm -hmm. <laughs>